The animated bait. Actually, did I do this one already? It's showing like repeated lost items here, but that belonged to Linhart. No, yeah, I gave it to him. But uh, the bag of seeds, I do believe. Uh, where did she go? Belongs to Marianne. I think she was in this room. Yep. That's a uh, fur scarf for. Oh no, a bag of seeds. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. This dusty book of fables actually belongs to Flane. And I might as well give her a gift, too. Um, floral adornment? She shall take it. <laughs> I will take this. And it seems like last but not least, or I guess def definitely not the last, but the first scarf sorry. actually belongs to Leone. Oh, that's mine. Thanks so much for finding it. Yeah, I feel so bad for her. She's been, like, the closest to Gerald. Oh, man. I feel so bad. So I feel like that's all the lost items for now. If I check here. Uh, handmade hair clip, that's Hilda. Noseless puppet, that's Gilbert. Introduction to magic, that's Aloe. Weathered Cloak? That's Catherine? Uh, Animal Bone Dice is Shamir. And I also picked up an Eastern Porcelain. I don't think that was on the list here. Professor. Oh, hey, Flane. Looks like she wants to speak to me. It has been a while since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? Of course. You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. This personal growth is due in large part to you. And I wish to express my gratitude, sincerely. I'm not sure you've grown that much. Excuse me? Are you implying that I am still naive? I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. Why, when I go to the market, alone, I even haggle. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. That is the type of knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. How old are you again? this once before it is a bit rude to ask repeatedly you know you never told me is that so well it seems we have something in common since i do not know your age either come now there is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age touching on a previous discussion i think i have learned more about you i mentioned how you possess an air of mystery I compared you to any old seed, but I have come to realize you are more like a particular seed, one I have seen before. When I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. She was an excellent fisher, my mother. I grew to love fish deeply because of her. Uh, where are you going with this? Well, you see, fish are... Oh, er, wait. I was talking about the sea, was I not? Anyhow... I sense that, like the sea, your depths are seemingly impenetrable. Yet, despite your unknowable depths, there is something familiar about you. It's as if we have met somewhere long, long ago. You think we've met before? No, I do not think so. 
It is all quite strange, really. I wonder if we might be distant relatives. <laughs> no, that cannot be it either. After all, if we were related, that would mean... Hmm. Though considering all that Rhea has done, it is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. For whatever reason, I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. We do definitely feel like we're a little bit closer, but yeah. I still have my priorities. We still have to talk about age. I mean, now knowing that I was actually born from a mother, so then that means... Oh, hang on. If I were to figure out my parents' uh, date of birth and date of death... I would be able to figure out because, like, my mother died, or like, Byleth's mother died when she was born. So then that must mean she started out when the mother passed. And then we stop at the age of where Geralt's year of passing went away. So that's gotta be it then. Let's check the graveyard, actually. I feel like we would know more about this. No shit. Byleth is 21 years old. She is a... She is a young adult. No, no shit. Byleth is 21 years old. I can't believe I had to put out the calculator. I could have just... Added the one. Damn, dude. Byleth is 21 years old right now. I have a question. When I take a lecture, I'm not interested. I get so sleepy. I just can't fight it. I should just give up. Close my eyes and enjoy a peaceful slumber. <laughs> no need to fight it. You can't help it. <laughs> Try getting plenty of sleep before the lecture. I see. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that was the medium answer. Professor. Now to go through the week, and the week is done. Nothing is impossible. Uh, yeah, it didn't seem like any um, support conversations yet. I have yet to see more about my students, do I not? Oh, that actually made uh, Ferdinand's flying skill up to level B. That's cool. But that does end the week. Everybody's at least in B's. Swordbreaker. Lance Prowess. Yo, really? Manuela also had the has the ability to warp. Oh, I could I could be moving so fast. <laughs> That's actually a good thing. Uh, Saint Sarah's Day is today. There will be a hymn recital. Sure, I'll participate. Yeah, I'll sing so loud that my voice is gonna reach the sky. Must I? Fine. But I will sing it. So Fine. I'll sing. <laughs> if it does gain it up. Oh. It's Lady Rhea's birthday. Since I already did a tea party for her, I'll just give her flowers. But she's still pretty sad. <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks like the next, yeah, this one is going to be for battling, so we're going to go do that right away. So what we have going on, there is Battle of the Empire, that's free, Monsters at Gronder Field, Battle at Gronder Field, Jesus, the level is 24? 
and the cream of the crop. I feel like I want to show this one off, see what monster I have to face up with. And then I can do the quest. Wait, oh yeah, Grander Field. That's where we did the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, did we? Jesus, look at her. Now she's on a Falcon Knight that's so majestic. Now where's the monster? Oh. <laughs> it's behind them. The King of Wings. Okay, if that's the case, then if I can... If I can hit Meteor... Yeah, if I can hit Meteor... Right away, then I'll be able to, uh... I'll be able to kill that beast right away. But it seems like there are a lot of people on horses and lances, so... Do I want to keep my distance or not? Either way, let's begin the fight. That's my cue. Uh, meteor. Ah, okay. So I could do this now. Oh wow, <laughs> that's only good. That's only just gonna put a dent in it. But I need that... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna... I might just have to kill... Okay. Instead of bringing Meteor to the, f to the Vulture... I'm gonna do these guys. At least I can still one-shot him though, but I will need to grind at some point soon. So that's big damage. That only just cuts them by half. No, I think everybody can move on up now. Move on up with their dragons. Then I can uh, move on up here. Uh, Ferdinand, you can follow up this way. Use your brave lance. Hooah! This was beneath me. Nicely done. So now I think you can take cover here. Yeah. Stay focused. Byleth, you can actually move pretty damn far. <laughs> You can actually move very well damn far. You're going to use an Iron Lance for this guy. Woohoohoohoo! Well. Love that pose. And I got my authority to level B, Defensive Tactics. But she's way out in the open now. So I could feel like rescuing her if I want to. I will prevail. Byleth, or uh, Edelgard, you can move over here. I'm just probably more worried about that vulture. Like, it's either going to attack the enemy or us. Uh, Hubert, you can actually uh, attack this guy. You need some catching up to do. <laughs> 135. 135, you're insane. Uh, Caspar, you can actually hit this guy. Yeah, since he's a war master now. Oh, look at him go. He's like my own little Aloe here. That's already the bullion. Um... I could warp. Okay. Oh, no. Can I do this here? 
Dead eye. I can uh actually this silver bow. Ooh, ah. Nice! Oh my god. Everybody's been killing today. So then Well, since everybody moved, then I guess there's no need to warp. There is a little t there is a tile there for experience. Uh, physic? They only just took like one damage. So I might as well wait there. All right, let's see what the enemy has to offer. Oh my god. She's too powerful. <laughs> She's too powerful. Should I have held back? Yeah, I think you should held back. I think you should let everybody else take the glory. That is that. Oh, now they're going to take on the King of Wings. Seems like they're not standing a chance against them either. Ooh, nice dodge, Ferdinand. Yeah, it it's like chip damage. God damn. <laughs> Looks like the monster got a kill. God damn. God damn. Uh, Dorothea, you can stand on that tile. Um. Thoron? Yes. Just get rid of that. Well, that's always nice. Alright, cool. Now, since there's only the monster and everything, I feel like I sh everybody should move on up. You are not. Uh. Oh, I can do this: assist, warp, Petra. Over here. And then she can take damage to the dragon. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Um, well, don't end the turn already. I just need to move everybody up. Jesus, Murphy. Could I let... I feel like I can let someone else have a dragon too. Rustic Gauntlets. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I could have, like, like, someone else, actually. Can I, like, move here, assist, rescue, Bernadetta? I think she needs to make a first move. Or wait, the bullion, or the, the ballista. She could stand on there and see if she can take damage. I should have done that earlier. Nice mess. <laughs> that vulture stands no chance. Here, she can stand on here. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I get. Yeah, archers are good against flyers. That just leaves one more health bar. Who need. <laughs> who wants it? Ferdinand? Ferdinand. Yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Greatness awaits me. That was probably my that was probably a really good fight. I just wish it wasn't like so limited. Like I could deal with both soldiers and monsters at the same time now. <laughs> By the looks of my team, I feel like I can handle that very well. All right, so next one is the quest, so we'll do that quickly. And that was the cream of the crop. I only did that in like three turns, I guess. Yeah, we're... I feel like we're unstoppable at this point. My, thank you so oh my goodness. They're only raising like so little experience, but like we're just one shotting these guys. Especially with our weapons of choice and our classes. We're like who has it with the most strength? I think it's Sadelgard. And then it's like Byleth. And then it follows up with like Petra and Ferdinand. We're very strong. <laughs> and now we have to do even more instructions. Another perfect on the Skywatch. And that ends another week. Looks like Edelgard slants it at sea now. She is catching up. I'm getting closer. She's got Night Kneeler. I understand more every day. Actually, yeah, what am I also doing with Flane? I think I'm getting her with Reason. So she can become a Gremory. Yeah, and Dorothea, I'm getting... I'm gonna bring up her sword skill. Up higher. I feel like she would probably need that, since she is good enough with Reason and Faith. Alright, so here's another week. You've done me a great service. Professor, I know it was just training exercise, but I can still hardly believe you defeated the Imperial Guard. That was thrilling. They were so impressed, in fact, that they decided to support us here at the monastery. The Empire Youths are added. So it seems like a lot of people explored in this one. So I'm starting to feel like I should go do that. Just so I can like... Just so I can uh... Get more motivation out of everybody. As a matter of fact, I still have yet to go through support conversations. Like I'm getting some... The ones highlighted in blue are the ones that still have yet to... Be taken care of, like we're ready. But it still needs to take some time before you can deepen this bond. So... Still have no idea. There is one with Manuela and Flame, though. I think it's just the both of them. Hello, Manuela. I was just wondering... What was it like, back when you were involved with that opera troupe? Your life must have been quite different from how it is here, I imagine. My... How bold to ask an adult about their private life. I'll humor you, though. A diva's life is only glamorous while she's on stage. The rest of her time is consumed by grueling training. Just days and days of practicing, beginning at sunrise, with barely a moment to rest from one performance to the next. Then, once the performances begin, you're on stage for three shows a day. Absolutely exhausting. Is that anything like you imagined? It sounds like a world all its own. Thank you. I find the topic fascinating. What sort of roles did you tend to be cast in? As the lead performer, did you play the part of a princess much? Oh, I can only imagine how illustrious that would be. Yes, I was a princess once or twice. And it was quite something, let me tell you. All those royal jewels and flowing gowns. And they didn't just give me the pretty clothes to wear because I was beautiful, you know. I had to fight and claw my way into every role. But once I was there on stage, singing my solo, and all eyes were on me, it was worth it. 
I was rewarded for every one of my countless hours of practice. And the cheers when I finished a song, the applause. Oh, I can't properly explain it. But I can tell you, it's an experience I will cherish until the day I die. Wondrous. It all sounds so very glamorous. Despite how rigorous a schedule you kept, it sounds like the hard work was worth those fleeting moments on stage. Mine has always been a quiet life. It is hard not to feel a twinge of envy hearing such stories from you. There's a lot to be said for the quiet life. It was never for me, of course. Still, I hear it's a pretty good deal for a lot of other folks. The thing is, Flame, well, you always have to remind yourself that if a place shines brighter than anywhere else, its shadows will be darker, too. What... what do you mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's a thing I hope you never come to understand. You know what? The next time you visit, I'll tell you all about the time I played a beautiful princess. And about the handsome prince she fell in love with. Oh, please! I would love to hear all about it. Yeah, don't tell her while she's young. <laughs> don't tell her of all the bad things that happen on stage. Or like becoming a diva or an actress while they're still young. <laughs> It'll only bring them to suffering. <laughs> Much like how I am right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm still fucking suffering. It's been two weeks. Or actually, it's been more than three weeks. One, two, yeah, it's been more than three weeks since my dad, since Gerald died. And you're still fucking moping! Well, so I've pretty much just done the whole exploration. Given them gifts for motivation, did some more faculty training. Nothing much there. Uh, what was it that I did differently there? I think it was, like, giving more to the saint statues. I guess that was it. Uh, but nothing else, really. It was just making motivations happy and then doing some more lecturing for this week. Which I think I have some people leveled up. Like, yep, I got Caspar's to A now. And Petra's Lance to C. I'm closing in on expertise. It was a, uh, yeah, C. Okay, so... I, I would feel like Caspar's done now. Maybe if he wants to, I can give him some heavy armor. <laughs> some heavy armor. He'll be a smallest tank. He'll be like a small tank in my group. But everybody else, like, I feel I'm getting a little bit closer to their wyvern lords. And you're still fucking moping. What is wrong with you? It's been a month. It's been a fucking month since he died. Oh my god, how long are we gonna do this? Here's a logical breakdown based on stat growth, spell lists, and skill proficiencies. Contrary to popular belief, quote unquote, and what you've what you'd be led to think at a glance. Manuela is not a caster. She's actually a speed-based hybrid. Her strength and magic growths are exactly the same. A low 35% and she is tied with a few other units with the highest speed growth in the game. Wow. <laughs> really? So Manuela is good at pretty much any class that gives her some strength and magic growths or capitalizes on her good utility spell selection, Ward, Silence, and Warp. Stat and spell-wise, she would make a solid unit in any of the following classes. Uh, Advance, Swordmaster, Fortress Knight, Paladin, Warlock, Warrior, and Bishop. Uh, Falcon, uh, Master Class, Falcon Knight, Wyvern Lord, Mortal, Savant, Great Knight, Dark Knight, Holy Knight, and Grimmery. However, Manuela has two skilled deficiencies in Reason, and heavy armor, so the classes she could be good without any deficiency. 
would be Swordmaster, Paladin, Warrior, Bishop, Falcon Knight, Wyvern Lord, Holy Knight. Uh, let's get at least a list of classes for Manuela has at least one skill proficiency toward Sword and Faith and Flying. You'll notice she also starts with Sword and Faith skills with supports or which supports the two classes list above. Also, it's worth noting that she learns the Hexblade Sword Combat Arts, which allows her to strike with her weapon for magic damage using her magic stat instead of her strength, which gives her the ability to do magic damage as a Swordmaster without using a Levin Sword. So that's the breakdown. What you need to decide is how much you're willing to coddle her skill growth to get her into the class you want her in. If you want to breeze into a class, Swordmaster or Bishop are your choices. If you don't mind a little coddling, the Flying and Holy Knight Masterclasses open up as possibilities. If you're willing to coddle her skills quite a bit, Mortal Savant, her best class in my opinion, or this guy's opinion, and most other classes open up as possibilities. In my opinion, it's worth leveling her reason just enough to get that 30% chance to succeed at the Mortal Savant exam and make her that class. Oh, okay. So I need her to use some swords and reasons. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get her with that reason. Uh, I believe if you have the B plus sword, you only need either a D plus or a C plus or C to be able to attempt the Mortal Savant exams, which is very easily attainable even with her deficiency in reason. I'd reclass her to Swordmaster immediately. Uh, where would that be? I think it's an intermediate. Or advanced. Yeah, okay. So, I need to have her to use some swords then. I never actually knew this about her. She could become like a... Like a samurai. That's... I never knew that about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad I passed. Uh, I'd immediately reclass her to Swordmaster immediately to capitalize on that plus 10 strength and plus 20 speed. Growth bonus. Using Bishop only when necessary for her utility spells. Uh, speaking of Bishop, I think she is capable of getting that. But it can only do one a day. Okay. Uh, then when she hits Mortal Savant, her speed should be godlike. Her strength should be reasonable. She still, she has access to all her utility spells. And she can attack with her magic through her Hexblade combat art for units that have too much high defense for her. That said, her spread of utility faith spells does still make her a great candidate for sticking to Bishop and maybe promoting to Gremory uh, at some point. The whole way for doubling usage. Silence can really save your hide on the maps and warp is always in demand. Ward, I imagine, can be useful in some very niche situations or on harder difficulties. Yeah, some people are saying, like, Gremory. Yeah, some people went, like, either Gremory for double warping or the Mortal Savant. I feel like I want to make her into a Mortal Savant, so I need to level up her reasons and sword. Which means I need to give her some swords. 